Hi guys, you are on waram24.com and today we will disassemble the ZTE blade with one Smart. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and pull out the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. Then we need to open the back cover. For this we use a plastic tool. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the display frame in the area of the hole for the card tray and carefully pass along detaching the clips. We need to be as careful as possible in the area of the side buttons and fingerprint sensor, as they are actually located on the side edges. We also need to be careful on the corners because the cover is fixed there as tightly as possible. And we can open the back cover, not forgetting that there should be a fingerprint sensor cable on the inside. Then we take a Phillips 1.5mm screwdriver and unscrew the screws at the top. If the screws are not well magnetic, we can use a magnetizer to make it easier for us to remove the screws. The screws look identical in color and size. After that, we will need to detach the cover at the top, the flashlight on the cover that hides the circuit board. As you can see, we have a new tool, it is tweezers. Since we like to use tweezers in our work, we bow these tweezers with uh, ceramic tips so that nothing will short circuit during the assembly. And we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove the cover. Then we disconnect the battery connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy-to-remember order to reassembly. Now we hook over the edge and detach the cover with a speaker. We turn the cover over, the speaker is glued in it. After that we disconnect the connectors on the subboard and motherboard and remove the interboard cable. The arrow on the cable shows the direction to the motherboard. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable on the subboard. And we need to unscrew two screws securing the subboard. They are different, so it is better to place these screws away from the rest so that they are not mixed up during reassembly. Then we carefully pry up, lift and remove the support. On the support we have the charging port, microphone, headphone jack port and other elements on the inside. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. Let's move on to disconnecting the connector of the coaxial cable. We disconnect the connector of the display cable and disconnect the connector of the side buttons cable. And we can remove the front camera. We pry it up and take it out. And then we remove the motherboard. Gently pry from the one side, then from the other side. In addition, the connectors of cameras are located on the inside of the motherboard and the camera's bodies are glued to the display frame. So, in order to remove the motherboard, we need to unglue the cameras first.
As we can see, there is adhesive tape in the seating areas. Now we can detach the rear cameras. Unfortunately, we choose a tool with uh, thick tips, so the process looks a bit more complicated than it really is. The cameras look very similar to each other, so it is better to place them on a special surface in a certain order, so that nothing gets mixed up when reassembling. And we move on to detaching the battery. We take a thin plastic film, run under the battery and carefully detach the battery from the adhesive base. In our case, the display cable under the battery divides the adhesive base into a nearest to us and the farthest starting after the display cable. We walk carefully on the near side not running the tool too deep under the battery to avoid damaging the cable. So we have achieved some success in detaching the battery. Now we need to lift the battery slightly by one edge to work the tool under the battery behind the display cable so as not to damage it and continue to use the film to detach the battery from the adhesive base. And we can carefully remove the battery. And that is the end of our data assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around. Or in the next video. You gave me the soul I have today. Without you, I never could have moved away. But now I see what you teach. Okay, guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.